Ernest, I want to ask you about the issues. I mean, Pritzker is, uh, is, is pretty strong on the issue of gun control. Uh, there are other issues that are percolating out there. The governor, Governor DeSantis, uh, says that he's a governor promoting freedom, and uh, w his position on masks and vaccine mandates indicates that. Uh, there's, there's the other issue of abortion. I mean, which, which, are, which are the issues that you think are going to play the biggest in the fall elections when Democrats or Republicans battle it out? Well, I think the biggest issue is going to be inflation, rising gas prices, skyrocketing cost of groceries. I think that has the ability to overshadow some of these other issues. Uh, after those issues, and I, and I think that's going to favor uh, the Republican Party, that's definitely going to create some headwinds for the Democrats. The other issues you mentioned, I think uh, abortion has the potential to be a bigger factor now that Roe v. Wade has been reversed by the U.S. Supreme Court. The question becomes, will those who are upset about that decision register and vote and become active? I think there will be a lot of women, and there are a lot of women, who are upset about that, um, but are they going to show up at the polls, and are, and are they going to make that the determining issue in how they vote? That, that is a question. Um, Will they show up? Barbara, what do you think about the issues? Do you agree with Ernest that inflation and the cost of living, that's going to be the big issue in November? Well, I do think that that's going to be the big issue, and it's basically failing public policy uh, of this administration that is trickling down to milk on the shelf and, and the ability to, of course, fill your car up with gas. And um, I think that, you know, talking, going back to to Manny what you were saying about getting up in the morning wondering what that guy did yesterday well we wonder every day what this president has done yesterday especially overseas and and it's his policies that are going to come back in November and in 2024 and are going to play out because we got a lot of digging out to do I think there's really uh, only one person that I can think of on a short list that loves a fight, and that's Donald Trump as far as getting in there and just looking at this whole list of problems and start ticking them off to get us back in the economy we were in. Manny, if you look at the issues of abortion and freedom, if you look at inflation, if you look at guns, which one do you think is going to motivate the most voters in, in the fall? Well, I agree with the group. I think the economy right now is the number one issue. I think inflation is an issue. By the way, I think Florida inflation is an issue because Republicans have been in control of the legislature, as you know, for the past 20, 25 years. We are now the most expensive housing state in the country. Uh, every time I run into somebody, they, yesterday I was at a meeting, first words out of somebody's mouth, my homeowner's insurance went up 40 percent. My utility went up by this, uh, you know, my car insurance. Our cost of living Forget about what, hap what, what has happened in the last year, essentially. Many of those things are completely out of our control. Would have happened if Trump was president. Would have happened if anybody was president. We had a pandemic. We put 350, 300, 350 million shots into arms within 150 days of him taking office. We all started to feel comfortable. What happened is when, when the pandemic hits, business shuts down. So I always like to give people the example of cars. We were talking about cars earlier. So America produces 50,000 cars. All of a sudden, the pandemic hits. Every car company shuts down. The companies that provide the parts for the cars shut down. There is no production. Everybody's at home. Nobody's buying a car. Now, all of a sudden, we feel good about ourselves again to get out and start joining the economy and buying cars. But in that period, we only manufactured 50, 50 cars. Now, 50,000 people want to buy 50 cars. What do you think that, that's going to do to the price of a car, right? And that's essentially the first thing that happens. And that happens like for the first part of, of last year. Things were slightly more expensive because of that boom in the economy, which, by the way, set all kinds of records in terms of job growth and everything else. Then, as we're trying to get over that, then we have a war in Europe. Mm -hmm. And inflation, in case you haven't checked, around the world, certainly in the... European countries and in the developed countries is much higher than even ours because they're suffering just as much as, as we are. The price of gas has gone up $2 since the war started in the, U in the Ukraine. So yes, is it a problem? It's a huge problem and we have to try and try and try to fix the problem. He's offered several suggestions and done several things. I still, by the way, have not heard a plan from the Republicans 
as to how they would fix the problem. Let's go another topic.